Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Crossover onto your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So today I'm running this on a MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 chip and I'm going to show you how to use Crossover to install Windows applications on your Apple Silicon Mac. So basically, Crossover is a compatibility layer that translates Windows application instructions onto the Mac hardware. And surprisingly, this does work on the Apple Silicon Macs. And I'm going to show you how to install it so that we'll be able to do some testing and run some applications and some games. So, so Crossover has a free trial. So I do recommend that you try this before you commit to making a payment. You can try this for free for four days and there are no limits. So when we get to this page, which I'll link in the description, all we need to do is click and do a trial here. We'll need to enter our details and then click download trial now. So I'm going to double click the zip folder to unzip it. Then I'm going to move the crossover application into the applications folder. Once crossover is in place, let's open it up. So now I've got crossover open in the center of the screen. So what I'm going to do is click on install the Windows application. And the application I'd like to install is Steam. So I'm just going to do a search for the word Steam. And um, crossover is going to create what's called the bottle which is a set of dependencies and applications that we need to get Steam to run. So I'm going to click Install here, and then it's just going to download and install everything that we need. So I'm just going to click Next, Next, and Install in that location. And then Steam is going to install through Wine, which is running through Crossover. So now we can run Steam where it will do an update, and then you'll see that we'll be able to log in as normal. So once Steam is installed as a bottle, we should be able to double click and open it now. So this version of Steam is the Windows version of Steam, and as we can see, the library is um, open to all Windows games and not just Mac games. So this gives us a lot of opportunity to play games and install software that's not normally available on a Mac. And um, if you need to install any different applications, then you can just click this button and do a search for it, or we can select a specific installer that we put onto the Mac and then install that application or game onto this computer. With launchers like Steam, there's quite a lot of varied compatibility between games. So a lot of these games won't work, depending on whether that game is compatible with Wine and how that translates onto the M1 Mac. Um, I've tried several games and to be fair, most of them do not really work that well, um, but uh, I'll be doing some testing over the coming weeks just to see what works and what doesn't work. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.